Hello and welcome to the tutorial for Cycled Movement and Move It. I'll start by saying that if you want a far more in-depth tutorial, under game types there is a Mario Odyssey and Zelda Breath of the Wild tutorial that will tell you exactly how to set up that style of movement with Move It. Um, if that's what your goal is, watch those instead. But this will give you a quick rundown of what the cycled movement is. So open up the character and just go orient to movement with cycle, compile, save. And now when we move, you will move only in a circle unless you pivot. And this is the core movement that is used in Mario and Zelda, but it won't work quite right, not yet. So if I type in pivot, I need to change the pivot type to acceleration to get a Mario or Zelda S pivoting system combined with the cycle system. That's just one thing to keep in mind, but you should watch those tutorials if that is your goal. So let's get, go to cycle. And we've got a few options. First of all, cycle pivot changes direction. Now I want you to think about the Pokemon games where you have a bike and it just goes in a circle. The bike moves in a circle, a bigger circle than that. So let's change the rate. And then suddenly we are moving in a very big circle. And that's kind of what happens in those games. Let me disable the pivot. So now I can't pivot. And when I try to change directions, it actually just moves in a circle. And this is exactly what you want for the bike movement in the Mario Sword and Shield, I think it is, games. Sorry, the Pokemon games, not Mario. So, what you saw me change is the rotation rate. The higher the rate, the smaller the circle. There's barely a circle at all at 400, but if I set it to say 50, it'll be a massive circle. So I'm not going to turn it to 200. And you can see this circle here is reasonably small. It's almost, it's bigger than what you'd use in most games. So if I say set it to 275, perhaps. The circle's quite subtle. So if you had a smaller character like Mario, then that might make sense. So it will move in an S pattern. And that's why we have pivoting to change directions, so that we aren't forced into a circle, which would push us off a ledge in some circumstances. So cycle use rotation rate. So we've got a rotation rate here, which is the rate we turn at. Um, we can just use that right there instead, if we so desire. Generally it doesn't add up, but if we match the rates to something that we know works, it actually end up looking reasonably good. So now the rate the character turns at is the same as the rate that the cycled movement makes us turn at. Of course in this case there is still an aim offset happening, so his head keeps turning, which you probably wouldn't have in those traditional types of games. So how you set this up is <laughs> entirely up to you and there are a lot of options. Alright, that covers everything and thank you for watching.